Hello everybody, my name is Mike. Welcome to the channel. Today we're giving this old girl a BBL. That's a Brazilian butt lift. Here she is, this is my 2003 Mercedes CL500, one of the most hated Mercedes of all time, but I love these things. So today, we're focusing on her best feature, her bootay. Yeah, we're gonna fix her badunkadunk. And I don't know why, everybody harps on me when I show my license plate. They're in the parking lots everywhere. I don't know why it's such a big deal. So I went ahead and covered that. So thanks for having my back, all of the viewers. But if you look right there, see, she's missing some pieces. But look, oh, I found the pieces. They were in the trunk, okay? So what we're going to do is a little plastic welding. Okay, we tried this before on another car and it went pretty well. So what I'm going to do is put that piece right there. See all the missing pieces? It fits perfectly. I mean, I don't think there's any chunks missing. It's just gonna take a lot of plastic welding to get this back in place. See, even over here where that chunk is, right here? Yeah, that part goes right there. So I think this is gonna be an easy fix. These bumpers are about $500 all over eBay. I don't wanna spend that when I spent less than two thousand on the car that's 25 percent of the car just for you know 13 and a half percent of the body or whatever it works out to be just for the bumper so i'm going to fix this i purchased some paint and what i'm going to try to do i have an extra bumper so i'm going to see if this little chrome strip if i can somehow macgyver it or bodge it as i've learned they say in uh, england we're going to bodge this and make it look a hundred times better. So, you ready? We're gonna take off the back bumper and we're gonna do some plastic welding. Yay! I have decided to attack the small piece first, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna make this look kind of like Frankenstein with some uh, holes and some zip ties right here to hold this all together. Then we'll go in and we'll kind of valley out the cracks here and 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 we will then get to the plastic welding but first thing you want to do is make sure it's all in the right position so i'm going to do that by drilling and then zip tying all right you want to watch okay here we go all right well i apologize someone didn't hit the record button yeah hmm. imagine that okay so this is what we've done we just drilled some holes and then we just kind of frankensteined it Put it all together as best we could, and all the zip ties are gonna do is kind of hold everything together while we do the plastic welding, okay? What we're gonna do now is use the Dremel tool, kinda grind out some little valleys so this plastic weld can kinda sit in there because if it just sits on top of the crack, it doesn't really get inside and fill very much of the crack. So we're gonna make it a little bigger so more of the plastic weld can go in there and then I'm gonna trim up a whole bunch of little, uh, the screen that you get with this plastic weld kit, and that makes it even stronger. So we're gonna drill this out, plastic weld it, put in some screen, and then weld that again, okay? Hopefully, somebody, hint, hint, will hit the record button this time. All right, here we go. <laughs>
been a couple of weeks and look how pretty. Ooh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, still have to remove the masking tape. Let me show you how the bumper attaches, okay? So they slide on to a little bracket on each side and then you have a 10 millimeter bolt right there. You've got two 10 millimeters, see right there? Two right there and then there's one on the back here and then another one right there. So it slides into place, the bolts hold it in, then you got a Torx screw which is right here, okay? And this just goes up right here to hold this. See this hole right there? Yeah, it goes up right through there to hold this piece in place like that, okay? Then you put in the tail lights. Once again, just uh, small bolts there. I think they're eights or sevens, and there's just a couple attachment points. And then you button her up, you plug her in, Make sure all the wires are away. And then you see how she looks. You step back and you admire your work. Is this an exact color? No. <laughs> I might need another coat. Or the guy at the paint shop just did not do a good job mixing up the paint. I just noticed that. That looks way, way, way too dark. Well, it's better than a broken up piece of junk. And I do have a piece of there's a piece of chrome right there. I got to replace. It looks better, but I have to prepare for a big change in my life. And I'm just trying to get all these cars running so they can kind of go with me. Okay, let's do this with some fast motion. Look how pretty. Yeah, except for that missing piece of chrome, which I will get from another bumper. And look, at, okay, you want the reveal? Here we go. Ooh. Oops, that didn't last long. Okay. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. No. This is the funnest part of the whole thing. Look at that. Okay. We missed a little spot right here. Okay. Then we're going to pick it up right here. And no, this isn't the blue. This is just crappy old masking tape. I was out of the good painters tape. But it worked. See? shiny and now if this was working we could close it but it's not because once again mercedes and their infinite wisdom didn't give me long enough wires so and we're missing that okay i got to get a new lens but look look isn't except for the license plate i don't know why people make a big deal about that look how pretty look how pretty that my friends is how you end a video yay look how nice look how not nice i'm trying to film these okay i'm not filming them in sequence i'm kind of trying to do some things on this car and this car and that one and that one and that one so anyway this car is looking really good so that's going to wrap it up for now folks thank you for watching thank you for subscribing you have subscribed right don't tell me you haven't because this is good stuff you have to subscribe I have to get the subscriptions. No, I really don't. I'm just doing this for fun. But anyway, glad you watched. Glad you liked. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. I have to confess something. I'm sorry. That bumper was too good to be the work of Monkey Wrench Mike. <gasps> yeah, I bought a bumper. Okay, this is why. Because this thing is the biggest Frankenstein bumper I have ever seen. And I tried to do what I could with it. And I just, it's just too far gone. All these little cracks, everything. It was too much, just too much to do.
So I bought a bumper. They actually put it on a bus from Dallas. And it showed up like two uh, the next day. It was incredible. So that is the old bumper. The one I got in the mail or on, on the bus is on the car. And this, ooh, look at this. This is another bumper. Yeah, yet another bumper that I have to paint. What car could it be for? Well, you don't know yet. It was in the garage and then it disappeared and it's coming back. So this bumper will go on another car from Monkey Wrench Mike. Oh, all right. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.